If you're keen on television trickery and special effects, I bet you are glued to your set every Saturday when it's tripods time. The city of gold where the tripods live is a real triumph of design and special effects. Here's the moment when Will and Fritz entered the city. costume and by a bit of magic telly we've been managed to recreate the city of gold here in our blue peter studio now really behind me this is just a model and i've been brought down to size by that old television trick color separation overlay now basically what that means is that i'm photographed by one camera on a plain blue background and then that is transformed and superimposed onto a shot taken by another camera of the model Pete, what's it like down there? Well, it's a bit spacious down here, but I think I might take a jog up the main high street. I like your outfit. It's very smart. Thank I'll you. give you a help along your way. All right. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> and this is only one-twelfth the size of the huge model built for the City of Gold by the BBC's Visual Effects Department. It took 15 months to design and build, and in the tripod series, it looks as big as somewhere the size of Birmingham, with huge great tower blocks and motorways. And this is where Will and Fritz entered this amazing city. Now, at full scale, this road here would be 20 metres wide and hundreds of metres long. And its surface is rather like sandpaper to give it a more realistic effect. And above it, you can see the famous bridge, which also doubles, of course, as a lift. The massive pyramids around here, well, these are made of plywood. On the side where the detested aliens live, well, they're made out of plywood here, which has been sprayed with special reflective paint, whereas the sides occupied by mankind, well, they've been built out of all kinds of bits of pieces, ordinary modelling kits, and they must have used hundreds of them. Now, over here is the most detested of all the aliens, one of the dreaded masters. However, when you get close to, they ain't really to be frightened about, because if you look closely at him, you see he's just a load of plastic foam and bubbles full of air. And I'm going to show you how brave I am by squeezing some of them. There you are. That's great fun. So much for the master. The other great thing about the master, of course, are their veins. And this has been done, uh, created by another very clever television trick. It's known as front axial projection. And this is a device which is fixed on front of one of the cameras. We've got it here on this camera which Dave is operating. If we turn this round, you can see how it works more clearly. Basically consists of a box on top. Inside the box is a light. And when the light shines through this special green filter down onto a mirror below, which is slanting, as you can see, the mirror here, at an angle of 45 degrees, when the light shines through, it gives the effect of the light shining straight out of the middle of the camera lens. So, Dave, if you would kindly turn your camera around, complete with your front axial projection on the front, have a look at the master. You'll see how the effect works. Now, to also enhance this, there's special reflective material on the master which throws the light straight back at the camera, and also the light itself is switched on and off. In television, this effect is called pulsing, and I think you'll agree, it's a very dramatic effect indeed. As you might say, it really is all done by mirrors. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. You don't frighten me, though. <laughs> There's a lot of argument whether you should give away the tricks that happen on uh, TV and film, but uh, I reckon if the acting is as good as the effects, and, and the stories are good, like in the Box of Delights, or um, Tripods, or Indiana Jones, then you get lost in the adventure and you don't sit there going, I know how they did that. 
Well, the final episode of Tripods is coming up this Saturday. Here's the dramatic moment when Beanpole and Will persuade the others to leave the circus and are being chased by the black guards. Come on! It'll be easier now. Can you see the tap? Follow us! Run! Come on, run! Run! does have a happy ending, I can promise, but you'll have to wait until Saturday to discover what happens. If you're in the mood for monsters, here's some more. I met them when I went for a walk through a tropical...